connection, and one day in the connection to God and His Word. Good morning. How you doing this morning? Well, sir, it is a good looking Saturday morning, a sanctified Saturday, so it must be a spectacular Saturday. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, you, you're trying to pull money and clothes for Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, I know that's right, Pastor. That's what it is. That man, we appreciate you. Good to hear your voice. And I know without a shadow of a doubt that you're ready to bring us that good news that we can use right here on Christ in Action. So, Pastor, I'm going to step out of the way and turn it over to you and let you do it the way you've been doing these past 34 years. I'm talking about bringing us that good news. So, Pastor, you know what to do. You got it. All right, indeed. Delighted to be celebrating this Saturday, this Sabbath day. And we're delighted to be uh, uh, celebrating the Lord of the Sabbath, the Lord Jesus Christ, the one whom B.B. is talking about, who in order to save us, in order to save the day, because of love, put himself in harm's way. That's a simple song, but I love it because it reminds us over and over again every morning as we play it that we build a memorial to what Christ has done to him and what he has done on our behalf, knowing and believing the love that he has for us. It's the difference maker in life. That's why we say over and over again, God loves himself to you and we do too, that you matter to God and you matter to us. Mattering to God, being loved by God will shape your life. It'll transform you to a point that you begin to say with the Apostle Paul, as he has declared in Romans 8, since God is for us, who in the world could ever be against us? That a God is for me mentality is formulated on the basis of seeing his great mercy extended towards us in his son, Jesus Christ, giving us grace and truth by him. As the Apostle John writes in John chapter 1, uh, of his fullness have all we received and grace for grace, grace upon grace, grace to receive grace, uh, grace covered going and coming, the unmerited, unearned favor, undeserved favor of God given to us because of the Lord Jesus Christ, which can never, ever be undone. That's why the Apostle Paul, we believe to be the writer of Hebrew, book of the Hebrews says in Hebrews chapter one, God who at divers times and in sundry manners, that's the King James language, <laughs> spoken past times unto us by the prophets has in these last days spoken unto us by his son, Jesus Christ, whom he has made heir of all things. Well, what is he telling us? That the life and uh, the words uh, of Jesus, the actions of Jesus was God speaking to us. So important to know that God is a speaking spirit, that he speaks, that he is not silent. Uh, he is not a dumb idol who does not speak. He is not inanimate, removed from us, but that he does speak. In fact, God creates and initiates by speaking, by his communication, God is constantly communicating to us. We do well to keep our minds quiet and our emotions still and know him. As he says, be still and know that he is God. Keep our minds quiet and emotions still and listen for him, to hear him. Because as he speaks, he creates as he speaks, he initiates and God speaks by his word. He speaks by uh, his actions. He's, he's, he's constantly uh, speaking. So 
because what God does, who he is and what he says and what he thinks is inextricably linked, everything about him. And when we see him in action, when we see him speaking, when we see him doing things, he's speaking to us. He is putting something on record. That's why it's so important for us to understand the life of Jesus and uh, his, his offering of himself, the way he lived, what he taught. Um, and ultimately what he did on our behalf, because it was God speaking. Why do I need to know this? It is as we recognize his speaking that we respond. You see, whatever God, whenever God communicates, a response is, a, is demanded. It will produce something. It will produce a result of some nature. If we hear it, then it will prosper in the thing that he sent it to do. It will accomplish what he pleases. If we don't hear it and we're not careful to observe it, we'll miss it. We'll miss out on what God is saying and uh, we'll just hear it, but it won't produce a result. Here's the good news. God wants results in your life. He moves, he acts, he speaks because he has an outcome for you and he is busy at work in you to will and to do what pleases him and what pleases him is to see you flourish, you thrive in his goodness, his mercy, his loving kindness, and to be an agent of the same in the lives of others. This has been an outreach of Connected Church. Connect with us, connected-church.com. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and of course, right here on this Gospel Explosions Outreach to the Tennessee Valley and beyond every single day for the dream of change is alive and Jesus is our joy. Knowing this, together, you and I are the difference that makes the difference as we awaken to God's purpose of knowing him and his love for us and mobilize to his mission to make of making him known and sharing his love with others. This is my personal invitation for you to connect with us tomorrow morning, 10, 15 a.m. Central Standard Time. We're online, but we're at Love to See in the House at 5650 Sanderson Street, Northwest, Huntsville, Alabama, 35805. That's good news on this spectacular sanctified Saturday, Pete. Man, I knew you had my voice, Cody. You can really bring a word back to life, man. I tell you, you sure can. And we appreciate that message, Pastor. And we look forward to talking to you again in the morning with another Christ in Action broadcast. Yes, sir. Keep on doing what you're doing. And Lord willing, we'll talk to you again tomorrow morning. You got a deal, Pastor. Bye-bye. Bye-bye now. All right. Well, indeed, friend. We want to just go ahead and invite you to just stay connected with us. Uh, we'd love to have you in the house. Uh, uh, we've made ready for you to come. If you're seeking a personal level fellowship with other believers, uh, or you're just seeking to get to know God better, or you don't know him, you just want to know more about him. As we're coming on the other side of this pandemic, uh, we're open and uh, ready to connect with you at 5650 Sanderson Street, Northwest, Huntsville, Alabama, 35805. If you're new to the city, uh, we would just love to connect with you. And I promise you this, that as you come, we will uh, love you and that uh, we'll feed you with knowledge and understanding as pastors of God's heart to, uh, to, to you. We'd love to hear your story, share our story, and together be the difference that makes the difference in our community, the Tennessee Valley, and beyond, and throughout the whole earth. All right, remember this as always. God loves himself some you, and we do too. You matter to God, and you matter to us. Do have a spectacular Saturday on purpose. Bye-bye for now.